Hey guys, it's Chris from Florida Drone Supply, and we have a very special video today. We are joined in the studio by Max Lee, the owner of Autel Robotics. Welcome, Max. It's sure great to have you in the studio here in Fort Myers today. So we're going to start with a few questions. We'll make them very simple. So we're going to start with number one here. So Autel is a brand that we're big, big fans of, and we've been watching this business really take some great steps in the past few years. Can you give us a bit of a short history and your background? Autel Robotics is my family's business. I'm part of the ownership. My dad found, uh, founded the company back in 2014, but that's not our original company. Um, Autel, with a bigger brand name, is Autel Automotive. So we, we started that back in 2004. And, you know, we sell diagnostic tools, okay. completely separate business. But, you know, that was very successful. And, you know, 10 years later, we decided to see what else, what other things that's in the works in the future. we got to diversify, you know, the next big item. Mm -hmm. And we really have a liking for robotics. You know, we've always believed that robots may be the future autonomy, right? Sure, sure. All of that. And we look at all the robot selections, you know, and we decide with the name Autel Robotics. And that's when we start to build up the foundational technologies and then we mm -hmm. choose aerial robots, flying robots. All right, so the second question here. So the drone industry has been changing very quickly over the last few years. So what changes has Autel experienced in those last few years of the changing technology? I would say the consumer industry has definitely slowed down mm -hmm. in terms of innovation. So no longer are we seeing, you know, big leaps, AI, machine vision, you know, fancy new, like just brand new payloads. Sure. So it's kind of slowing down, you know, the pricing are stabilized and the, you know, the volume is still, you know, cra crazy volume. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to see as much, you know, consumers, they've gotten kind of used to it. But then again, the commercial drone industry is really starting to take off, right? When looking at public safety, sure. the uses are getting a lot more advanced. No longer are people just buying drones, just randomly, you know, consumer drones to fly and do all of that. Mm -hmm. They're buying dedicated drones, they're building out their workflows, and they're building out the entire uh, budget. With all the drones that are out on the market now, so what user groups do you see Autel placing a larger focus or priority on moving forward in the future here? So big direction, we are moving away from consumer, you know, with the growth of commercial and more advanced users, we want to build these workflows out. Right. So you will see us, you know, working more with public safety, with security. Mm -hmm. You will see us more on the mapping side with the Autel mapper sure. and potential future payloads. And you will see us on heavily focused on inspection as well. So we were blown away when the Autel Evo Max line came out, and in our view, it put Autel on another level where very few drones could compete with that technology. So what inspired Autel to make the Alpha with such amazing advanced features at such a competitive price point? The competition and just the amount of time and effort we spent just investing on these core technologies. You know? The Alpha is a continuation of you know our next generation aircraft so mm -hmm. we're talking about new flight controls you know the meshing network the video transmission the ai you know machine vision all of that so i'd love to give you an opportunity to talk about the drone on the table here today the new autel alpha so can you talk about a little bit about the inspiration behind it and how long did it take for this drone to become from an idea to a reality it's been long in the works the idea of a larger platform so we've been toying around with the idea of a heavy lift, if this is called a heavy lift, but for, I would say even back in 16, 17, we had the ones with the legs go up, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of demos, count, uh, countless sample units and platforms just we just discard because a lot of the time the technology is not right. Yes, you get more lift, but it's a greater responsibility because it's heavier payload, you got to work sure. with more vibration. But then again, you can put more powerful chips in it mm -hmm. and just, you know, have it do more fancy stuff. So we don't just want to make a drone that just carries heavy things. We want to make a drone that's more intelligent. And that's the general idea. Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's yeah. what we talked about when you came in. We talked about all the amazing technology on board, but the technology is all is only as good as what you could do with that data in the end. So all the AI and the machine learning on board and the Autel Mapper software, it just elevates this platform to a different level that we're just beyond impressed with. But going back to your question, how long did this take? Yeah, I'd say probably around two uh, two years. Concept and idea to production model sitting on the table here. It's about two years. Yeah, more okay. to it. Now that we have the Autel Alpha here in front of us, which industries do you see this benefit the most so straight out of the box you know with this payload right here the l35t we're looking at uh, public safety we crammed everything we can onto that one payload so you have the 35 optical zoom see things from half a mile away mm -hmm. you got the two uh two thermal cameras you got a night vision you got a wide angle you got a laser range finder 
So public safety, first and foremost. Right. This payload can also do some pretty fantastic shots for inspection. Right? Mm -hmm. You can stay far away from these critical infrastructure, right. zoom all the way in, get those detailed photos that you need. It's yeah. almost like you had a competition of how much technology could you put in a little box on a camera mm -hmm. and whoever had the most uh, won that contest. So uh, it's amazing. It, the, the camera by itself, it just looks amazing it's hard to, you know i know pictures don't do it justice but when you see this in person it really is phenomenal look at it's it's beautiful thank you so, very much but you know but beyond these industries we're very open to the potential right we got psd pay coming we got a remove a removable payload we have uh, basically screws at the bottom for payload base so and then we have uh, screws at the top so any third party integrations yeah. people will obviously make different payloads, lighting systems, drop systems, speakers, and additional payloads. So Autel is open to third-party developers making uh, payloads and hardware for this drone. Absolutely. Yeah. And the product cycle for commercial is going to be a lot slower. We're not pumping out drones every half a year, every mm -hmm. one year, eight months. You know, this is going to stay with us. We're going to improve it. So let's talk a little bit about data security and privacy. And so can you talk about how Autel faces the, the tough questions coming from lawmakers and politicians and other manufacturers in the industry regarding the safety and security of drones and how that data is collected, where it's stored and transmitted and with all the, the laws that are currently changing in Florida and potentially other states. So how, how does Autel face those challenges in that? Honestly, it's a it's a tough question, mm -hmm. and it's also you know it's pretty tough for us to figure out what we need to do sometimes. But you know, speaking as an insider, as an literal owner, mm -hmm. you know, when when we make the decisions, we try to just stay out of politics in general. Mm -hmm. You know, with data security, we're not really hiding anything, mm -hmm. but we're not doing anything like too much to per, you know to try to change the narrative mm -hmm. that's the way we say it like we don't take user data right there's only a one-time activation to activate the warranty we don't know you know what you do with it right don't take the sd card information and this you has know, the aes 20 uh, 256 yeah. encryption on board right yes, it's so, got the yeah. two types of encryption right the mm -hmm. onboard encryption where you can you know if the drone crashes you don't want the sd card just to be taken by somebody and sure. access all the data sure. and then there's also encryption between the drone and the controller. Okay. Does this drone have the ability to operate offline in an environment to where you're not connected to any device or or internet connection from a hotspot or a Wi-Fi network? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we yeah, you can just take off. We, yeah, we don't enforce no fly zones and right all of that in the states. Sure. Because that's not what the law requires us to do. So just use it as is. SD card yeah. may be required if you want to you know load your offline maps. If you want to update it manually, not use any servers. Yeah, we can do it offline. And then our servers are Amazon AWS. So thanks for breaking down all the, the user and data security and all the policies in place at Autel and all the back-end work that you guys have done for security. So currently as it sits today, does Autel collect and or use any kind of user data for, for privacy concerns that, that users may have? Absolutely not. Okay. The only thing we do take is the first time you power on the drone, mm -hmm. you got to activate a warranty. We want to know are you in the States? We mm -hmm. take a location ping and that's it. We don't take your name. We don't, you don't need to make an account. We don't enforce no fly zones. We don't know where you're flying. So Max, we are so honored that you came out here today to Florida Drone Supply. And we're so proud to have your products on our shelves and we cannot wait to see what's next on the horizon with your amazing company. So that's a wrap today with the exclusive interview with Max Lee from Autel Robotics. Stay tuned for more videos on the Autel Alpha, the Evo Max series and the Dragonfish. If you have any questions, give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.